From concept to completion, wedding planner Kara Cardinal vows to do whatever it takes to make her couple's dreams come true. It's about coming to two people coming together and enjoying the time with their family and friends, mostly because they are destination weddings. So they've come from all over the country or all over the world. Today's trendy twosomes are seeking a truly memorable experience. So we help them do a design plan, find all their vendors, and put the whole thing together. It's very important um, because of the weather. Uh, basically, weddings are year-round. Daily News reporter Ashley Collins finds social-savvy brides have clearly crafted visions. It's something that, you know, a lot of brides just want to go on Pinterest and kind of look through what other brides may have done and ideas they can use as, as decorations for their own wedding. Many of today's wedding parties are skipping the church and heading outdoors. A lot of our destination weddings are at the hotels along the beachfront. But then also for the locals, they like to do the more unique venues like Hayes Venue, Burroughs Home, the Heitman House. And we also have a lot of our couples that like to do the private residences. It's a much more intimate feel. Ceremonies are still tradition based, only tweaking old styles in favor of something new. The decor is key, with draperies hung on trees or arches, intimate lighting and extra touches setting the stage. Signs seem to be a really big thing whether they're placed along the ceremony site or they're telling guests where to go. You know, ceremony is this way, dancing is this way, fun is this way. That seems to be a really big thing. And then calligraphy as well, where they have big seating charts that are either on glass or on mirrors, maybe a window, and they're handwritten. So guests get to see this beautiful piece of art in front of them. Even the food is getting a fresh makeover. The happy couple choosing what makes them happy. Angus beef sliders and they're doing pizzas with their wood-fired pizza and they're delivered to the table. And then also the family style. That seems to be a big thing where big bowls of food are brought to the table and each table gets to share. And a big change is downsizing the big cake. You're seeing more naked cakes now, which are the cakes that are semi-iced and then they're embellished with flowers or with fruit. Um, but I would say the biggest trend right now seems to be small, maybe two tiered cakes versus four or five tiers, and then a big selection of desserts that go along with it. Dessert tables are really the big thing. It used to be a candy buffet where they would set out different colored candies or different types of candies, but now it's different desserts. All these desserts here, is this something you might put on a dessert table? Absolutely, definitely the tiramisu and the chocolate tart, I would say. The devil is in the details. Like what if we did the old fashioned chocolate with like maybe another, like a different flavor, like middle. Mm -hmm. Tastings are a must, Kara says. Everything needs a once-over. Cake is one of them. Uh, we also do their food tasting. And then florals is another one. And typically during florals, I'll bring the linen book so they get to see the different linens, because those two really go hand in hand. Um, hair and makeup trials are both very important. She actually had her hair trial yesterday. Bringing all the moving parts together, joining a couple in marriage is hashtag wedding goals.